Hi, welcome to the series of software metrics. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your quality expert. So, software metrics are classified as project metrics. That means to measure the project performance, like in terms of cost, in terms of effort, in terms of time, in terms of resource allocations. And coming to the next category, it is process metrics, that is to measure the process performance like defect rate or defect density, such as and uh, SLAs like response time, resolution time, these, these kinds of things. And three is like product or engineering metrics. So you're dealing with the product. So how the product is performing, like we need to check like which deals with size of activity, like lines of code, number of test cases, code complexity, coverage metrics, testability, security, usability, safety. These all things will come into picture in, comes in terms of product metrics or engineering metrics. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the first category called project metrics. So in this, like we are going to discuss about four basic uh, metrics which is applicable for any of the projects. So first thing is schedule variance, effort, second one is effort variance, return on investment or ROI and the utilization. So schedule variance is the formula here is actual end date minus estimated end date by estimated end date minus estimated start date into 100. Here it is easy to remember like I just wrote it in a, in a way like A E minus E by E E minus E S. If you observe like E E will repeat immediately after the, div after the division. So like A E minus E E and the E E will, report, uh, will repeat in the denominator too. So both the denominator things will start with E E. e and into 100 so it is easy to remember when you see this thing a uh, little logical so example for this thing is project is estimated to start on 1st september 2023 and plan to end on 30th september 2023 that means it is planned for 30 days so but the project actually started on 4th september that means it is delayed by four days and is completed really completed on 3rd October 2023 that means it is delayed by three more days so here the formula if you apply 3rd October 2023 minus 30th September 2023 divided by 30th September 2023 minus 1st September 2023 into 100 so uh, in this in excel it is very easy to calculate but however I just try to put it in here like 3 by 29 into 100, that is 10.34 percent. So the schedule variance for the project, like which is started four days delay and completed three days delay and planned for 30 days, is 10.34 percent. Like it varies. The some some months will have 31 days, some months will have 28 days. Some month will have 28 days February. So these all things we need to consider while you're calculating the schedule variance. And the next thing is effort variance. Effort variance is also like if you remember schedule variance, like effort variance also easy to remember because actual effort minus estimated effort by estimated effort into 100 is a formula. So similarly, similar to the um, to the schedule variance we have ae minus ee by ee into 100 here you don't have two different uh, um, things in the denominator because uh, the effort will not have four different um, four different things so like uh, estimated started estimated ended estimated uh, actual started actual ended was there in schedule variance but however in effort variance we have only actual effort and estimated effort planned effort and uh, actual effort so example here is project is estimated to take 100 hours uh, effort is measured in hours here 
so but the project is actually actually took one or five hours or sometimes it will get finished in 90 hours so here in the example it it is it, it took five more extra hours so what is the thing is like 1 or 5 minus 100 divided by 100 into 100 so 5 by 100 that is 5 5 percent so you can have negative schedule variance negative effort variance because if it finishes early than planned then it is negative if it is delayed then it is positive and the next formula is return on investment or roi so this is the frequent metric which is you which is used in your uh, um, in your business discussions so it's like final value minus initial value by initial value into 100 that is fv minus iv divided by iv into 100 so here the numerator last term and the denominator is iv uh, so you can easily remember this example is initial value is is imagine that it is 10,000 and final value is 15,000. So 15,000 minus 10,000 into, into divided by 10,000 into 100, that is 5,000 by 10,000 into 100 is 50%. The return, of, in return on investment is 50%. So um, here, like uh, the values of the goal values, for example, schedule variance uh, goal value will be deferred from one project to the other or in some organizations like a mature organization will have for all the projects for example schedule variance should not be more than 10 percent or effort variance should not be more than 10 percent plus or minus 10 percent plus or minus 5 percent something like that it will be there and it differs from company to company similarly return of return on investment also um, should be it, it is depending on the organization it is depending on the project so the last one is utilization the utilization is total billable hours divided by total available hours into 100 example here is i took one week of time so total available hours for the week is 40 hours if you consider eight the eight hours per day and total billable hours is 30 hours for example like a person worked for six hours in a day so 30 by 40 into 100 that is 75 percent so the utilization value also it differs from project to project and also like you know company to company if it is more mature organization the utilization goal value will be in organization level hope you like the concept like if you like the concept please click on the like button and if you want further more automotive and quality related videos subscribe to my channel Thank you.